Next stop, India. I'm in the westernmost part of this enormous country, on the plains of the Indus River. Large salt flats alternate with broad savannas of wild grasses, spiny bushes and isolated trees. Those horns over there don't belong to a unicorn, they're blackbuck antelopes. In the middle of October, new visitors arrive at the Little Ran Sanctuary. They're the tribal people known as Rabaris. At this time of the year, the Rabaris carry their homes on their backs. They're moving south in search of pasture for their animals. The Rabaris are good with the local fauna, which helps account for the survival of donkeys and antelopes in the region. In addition to their livestock, the main source of income for these people is cotton, which they use to make their own clothes. The big estates in the area need workers for the harvest. And Rabani men and women participate in this hard work. But what other choice do they have? Cotton ball by cotton ball. Sometimes they work until dark, and they're always exhausted by the time they're done. After dark, though, Rabani life is completely different. A festive evening celebrating with food and musical instruments around a campfire helps them to forget the hard day's work. Spinning like this, you can forget anything. Men and women dance around the fire. Here, Rabani women are respected and treated as equals. And they're beautiful. Carefully turned out in brightly colored dresses, lots of jewelry and prominent tattoos. And often, they're prodigious consumers of snuff. The sun is coming up, 